So what are you guys? We're part of the Sparkwood family. Baby? Time? All right, so now I want to do another fun topic, and that's going to be tiling. Okay, and it's a nice way to think about things like, say, Fibonacci numbers. Okay, so if you remember, Fibonacci numbers are the first guy or the zero guy is going to be by definition zero. F one in the Fibonacci sequence really is one, and then the neat part is to do everything else, you just add the previous two guys. So F two is going to be zero plus one, which is one. F3 is going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2. F4 is going to be 2 plus 1, which is 3. And F5 is going to be 3 plus 2, which is 5. Okay? And they keep going. And it's interesting how such a simple sequence links up to so many things. Believe it or not, we're going to do this with tilings. Okay? So what do I mean by tiling? Let's define an end, let's say a, a three board. One, two, and three. Okay? And the game to this is you can cover these guys. You need to cover every single square. You can cover them either with literally squares. Well, it's supposed to be a square, my bad. They look more like rectangles. Okay? Or what we'll call, say, dominoes, which are really guys, rectangles. They're equivalent to two squares. Okay? okay? So let's give these guys a name. Let's call them T. And But just to set it up, let's say T of negative 1 is 0. You'll see why we're going to do this in a sec. And t of 1. Now, t of 1 we can actually think about. I'm sorry, t of 0. t of 0 we can think about. How many ways are there to cover um, a board that has nothing? There's only one way. You just don't do anything. Okay. But now it gets interesting. Let's do t of 1. So our board has one square. How many ways can you cover that? There's only one way. You just drop a square on it. So that's going to be 1. Okay. How about t2? A guy that looks like this. How many ways can you cover this? Well, there are two ways, right? Because you can cover it with... A square. Okay. Sorry, that was a failed attempt. I'm going to think of a way of drawing this better. Okay, so let's talk about T2. How many ways can you cover this guy? Well, you can cover it with a square and then a square, right? That's one way. Or you can cover it with a domino, which I mean, just looks the same, right? It would look like this. Okay, so that's another way. And I think those are the only ways to do it, to cover this guy, right? This like, We'll call it a two board. So I guess there are two ways to do that. Okay. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. How about T3? So if the board is composed of three squares, how many ways can you cover it? Well, you can go square, square, square. That's one way. Okay. You could do domino. So let's draw a domino like this. You could do domino and then square. That's the second way. And then you can do square like that and then domino. That's the third way. So I think that's going to be three. You can start to see a pattern here. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. Let's see if this holds up. Let's compute T4. Okay? So I take this four board. Let's see how many ways I can cover it. Okay, well, um, just to make the notation easy, let's uh, let's do it this way. One method is for squares I'm going to represent with checks. So you can cover it 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. That'll work. Okay, now it gets a little bit more interesting. Uh, we can cover this with, say, one domino, like this. And let's say another domino, like that. That's another way, right? Okay. I don't want to say gimpy, sorry. We can also do it this way. We can cover this with a square, a domino, and a square. That's another way. We can also go, let's see, maybe um, square, square, domino. Right? And obviously we can go domino, square, square. Okay? And if you think about it, I think these are the only ways we can do this. So there are five ways of doing this. So T4 is five. So there's definitely a pattern here. And you can see, so this sequence looks just like the Fibonacci sequence. It's just that we're off by one. So T0 started at one, whereas F of zero is zero in the Fibonacci sequence. So that's why I just artificially said t of negative 1 and 0, okay? All right, so I guess entitlings are useful because some problems that might be more difficult to do just strictly from the definition of the Fibonacci sequence, you can do very nicely with tilings. Okay, but before we get there, one thing is, why is this even true? Because we know how the Fibonacci sequence works. How are we guaranteed that the tiling sequence works the same way, right? Well, one way is this. If you look here, remember how we defined the Fibonacci sequence? 
If you look at any guy, right? How do you get him? You look at one guy before and you add him to the guy before that. Okay? That was the key relationship. So now let's show that that's actually true for the tiling guys. Because if it's true that Tn, right, is equal to Tn minus 1 plus Tn minus 2, then the patterns look the same, right? Now it's not exactly true because the, the indexing is off, but that's easy to fix. We just say that T of n, right, is equal to f of n plus 1, right? T of negative 1 is f of 0. And we set it up so initially you have 0, 1, 0, 1, they're lined up. So as long as you construct these guys by adding the previous two, and you construct these guys by adding the previous two, we know the sequences are going to be the same. Okay, so all we have to show is this relationship. Tn, t sub n, sorry, is equal to t sub n minus one plus t sub n minus two, that this holds, okay? Sorry, I think we're running out of ink. Okay. All right, so how do we know that? We're gonna do a tiling argument. So imagine you have some n board. Okay. So let's think of, imagine all the different ways there are to tile this end board, okay? You can really break it on this way. No matter what we do, we've got to cover this first square, right? So one obvious way of tiling this thing is to literally just tile that first square. Okay, so what are the options? You need to cover that first square. There are only two ways to do it. You can either cover it with a square or you can cover it with a domino. Uh, okay, like this. Does everybody agree? And then the rest of this goes on. Okay. So those two cases cover everything. Now I know there's a bunch of junk going on here, but it's always gotta be a case you gotta cover square one. So if you look at that end board, the first square in the end board must be covered. And you can cover it with a square tile. I should have said tile before, right? Or you can cover it with a domino. Okay, so those are the only ways to do it. So you can literally break everything down into these two cases. Okay, count the number of ways you can do this starting with a square. Then we'll see the number of ways you can do it starting with a domino. And we'll put all those cases together and we'll get the answer. But this is actually pretty fast, because if you covered this guy with a square, right, what's left? Well, anything can happen over here. So this is like tiling a regular board, right? But what's the size of this board? It's n minus 1. So the number of ways of covering this guy is actually tn minus 1. So imagine all the ways of covering an n minus 1 board, tack on this guy at the end, and you've got what? A covering of an n board. Okay, now let's do it for this thing. Sorry, I erased that, whatever. Once we put down this domino, how many guys are left? n minus 2. And so you think of all the ways of covering an n minus 2 board. That would be t n minus 2, right? So imagine all the ways of covering an n minus 2 board, tack on a domino, and now we've covered an n board. Every way of covering an n board is covered in those two general cases. So let me get this straight, hopefully cleanly now. You take the ways when you start off with a square. You take the ways when you start off with a domino, right? You put them together and you get all the cases. So that must tell you how to cover an end board. So there you go. That's that relationship. I know at this point you're probably like, okay, big whoop, whatever. We haven't done that much. But trust me, once we start to do other problems, this tiling stuff will be super slick. Okay?